CJ from The Artist Murder, and this is my 7 of 30. 9, 27, 11, 6, 17, and 14. Um, 8. Uh, it's hard to say, like we've done so many festivals, um, you know, I honestly have to say European festivals are the best, uh, Download's been pretty sick, so I wouldn't say it's the best because we don't have our own room all day, so I think Grass Pop in Belgium last year was probably one of the, the best ones and with full, force, with full force last year as well. Funnily enough, people would say what happened at Soundwave in Brisbane, if people know who the band is, uh, in February of this year. But I didn't do anything wrong anyway, so like, it's not a, a fuck up. I don't know, what the biggest fuck up. I actually probably not realising some of the people I'm talking to, like, I was hanging out and I was like, joke, joke fighting around with Phil Anselmo from Pantera and I didn't even know who he was. And then my mum was hanging out with him, getting drunk and shit, just hanging out with our crew and everyone. I was like, who's that dude? And everyone's like, it's Phil Anselmo. And I'm like, oh, fuck. Like, didn't even know who, like, fuck ups like that. Like, not knowing who someone is when I'm talking to them and just hanging out. Just, they could be a roadie, they could be a camera guy, a driver, or a dude in a band, it could be anybody. And it's like, I don't realise. That's probably the biggest fuck up, I think. Smallest festival crowd, like proper festival, probably would have been about 1,400, 1,500, maybe 2,000. Because we played this festival in Australia, in, in our main city in Sydney. But it was a festival for like electronic dance music, pop artists. So it was really weird. Like, and it, we're on a stage full of Australian hip hop. So everyone there was for like hip hop and that. And I came out before our intro and went, hey, we're just like a hip hop band like everybody else. I want to get your hands in the air and I was getting people to crank and then like heaps of people there and as we played people were like leaving going what the fuck's this like because it's that that was it was hilarious it was a really awesome show too I'd probably have to say because I've seen I'd say Dillinger the good good friends of ours and I've seen him like 50 times or something now but um probably Deftones White Pony I think would probably be the big one, yeah. There's been a couple of festivals where I've been completely high out of my mind. High out of my mind, but um, probably the one, one in Sydney, apparently I was really drunk. I was hammer drunk on Sailor Jerry and just being loud and when I get really, I get hammer drunk and I like get real huggy like with my friends, get real horny and I want to fight do manly things, so probably Sydney, big day, uh, Sydney Soundwave this year. Well, with Paul, with Paul Force last year, was probably it. I haven't really seen catering today though, I've just been too busy doing other stuff, so it could be today. So download, it could be you, but at the moment, without having tried downloads catering, yeah, with Full Force Germany. No, I, I'm just trying to think what I've worn on stage, but they were, haven't been festivals. I've dressed up in a suit before, but it wasn't a festival. But yeah, no, it's not for me. I've seen my friends do it and I just think it's stupid. <laughs> who do you want to see the, who do you want to see the best seven of 30, not, not best, my seven of 30. Hey guys, who do you want Rock Sound to do this with next? Comment below and you can see your favorite band.